Bishop Cornelius Ndrigo, the General Overseer of uh, God's Grace Ministries International. I know you very well, sir. Um, despite my tight schedule, I am an um, ardent viewer of your television program, Hours of Wisdom. <laughs> Thank you very much. That is good to hear. It also lends credence to the fact that my presence in your office as man of God speaks volume. Oh, <laughs> no doubt, sir. No, no doubt at all. Uh, this is my wife, Rita. And uh, this is my daughter, Favour. I know Mrs. Ike very well. But Bishop, if uh, this is about, about her treatment... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, our visit to this place is much more than that. Um, tell me, Bishop, where are all these talks leading to? <laughs> As I said earlier, my presence in your office means that whatever we have to say here is the whole truth. It is um, hard to say. But um, favor my daughter here, sitting in front of you, is your true and biological mother. question your integrity but coming into my office and making such claims is absolutely ridiculous absolutely doctor would a man of my caliber just walk into your office to make frivolous claims <laughs> I, I, I mean I, I, I don't know I mean you, you, you tell me I mean you tell me I mean, I, I, I left home this morning with my mother bidding me goodbye kiss. And here you are telling me that this woman sitting in front of me is my mother. Ah, come on, Bishop. How hard can that be comprehend? Oh, yes, Phillips. I'm your mother. You are my son. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. Why don't you ask Madam Harriet and her husband? I'm your true mother, Phillips. You're my son. Please. How did you come about this? How? It all started when I was in secondary school. You must hear me out, my son. Please. Please. <laughs> That is the girl I've been talking about. She's the one. That girl? Yes. Man, check out her physique now. Man, SK. That girl on her SU, as an SU. Proper scripture union girl. And her father is a pastor. And do you think she's going to give in? I know these pastor's daughters can be very stubborn. Right. I don't care if her father is a pastor, pope, or even bishop for all I care. See that girl. I must get that girl. She for this school, me SK. I've never doubted your words, man, let's see. But I assure you, man, it's you and Lydia and Lydia are right. Relax, eh? You guys should relax and see her reactions to my actions. Share for this one. We'll see now. Let's see. Yeah. Who is that? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Yeah. Let's see. Right. I hope you, you, you've come here with something I want to listen to. Abba, Abba, ah, <laughs> calm down. Um, I have some information for you concerning the girl. Yeah, um, her name is Fever. Fever? Uh -huh. You mean the girl? Yeah, the girl now. Fever. 
man, signs of good things to come. You for you for tell me now, man, flow, flow. Um, yeah, just as I said earlier, she is the daughter of one prominent pastor somewhere in town, and therefore very religious. She has just two friends, uh, one Sandra and Evelyn. And you know how they are now, like bread, butter and jelly, always together. Right, right. Let's key. Right, right. Take five, take five. Maybe too much. Sorry. What a brilliant research. At least now I can move in for a better kill. And you see why I see me get these details now. Oh, eh? for you. I you see. Bad man, a bad man. Let's <laughs> key. What on earth is going on in that devious mind of yours? Come on, Bright. Eh? You know I like this girl very much. Why do you like this now? Ask you. Like the girl. Is it the girl you like or that thing in between her legs? Eh? I know you better than you know yourself now. Ask you. Abba, it's not you again. You want to hear my mouth or you want to see my reaction? Man, Man I told you I like this girl very much. Eh? I make you. Make you not be the one she said who will stop me. If Abba. Not. Abba. SK, man, sorry man, sorry man. I didn't mean to like <coughs> I didn't mean to say anything wrong. Our phone, Abba, you don't have vex any house, you worry yourself. Smile, smile, smile for me, babe. You know you're beautiful. Good, take it, take it. Good girl. Alright, let's start. Wow. Good, 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 good today. Thank you! <laughs> now smile, smile a bit. What's up, girl? Your pictures? Alright. So, how are you doing now? I'm fine. Ninja, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, let me come. Just check for it, girl. Okay. Alright, girl. Take it. Good, good. Take it, take it. Powerful! Wow! Mother's time. I'm going to push it. Alright. Wow. Are you true? Yes. Have I'm you seen it? Give me an image. Look at that picture. Yeah, fine. Yeah. So how much is it? Mm, I think it's about 280. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, girl. Your bill has been settled. I mean, your money has been paid. My money paid? Yeah. By who? Um, says he's a friend. A friend? Yeah. Um, what's up? Um, saying two, three this time, okay? Hey! You don't want to join us in prayer ball again. Don't you want to leave? No, now I went to collect my picture. Let me see. Wait, wait. Uh, Fever, these your pictures are fine. I see. I mean, let me see this one. Fine. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will. Oh, this girl is fine. Thank you. Sandra. Yes. Something strange is happening to me in this school. Hey. What, what, what is, is it? it? Somebody is going around paying for my expenses. <laughs> oh, it isn't funny now. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Girl, how do you lucky that someone is paying for your expenses? Oh my god. <laughs> Instead of you to be thanking God for your good fortunes, you're here wondering. I should be jubilating. That whole faceless person or peasants is going around paying for my bills. It isn't funny. Nobody does that without, so, without having something in mind now. You're always suspicious. But then, if you're so curious to know, why don't you try and find out who it is? I, I think so. You know, maybe a secret admirer of something, but maybe a very generous one at that. Well, if it did, he's coming after the wrong person. Let's change his mind. <laughs> I beg you. You're always so Do I know you? But I know you, Sandra Okoye. You and your friends, Evelyn, Ugu, and my favorite, Favor Ndigwe. You all are in class 4C. 
Well, sorry, pardon my manners. My name is Solomon Kachi, but my friends call me SK. <laughs> well, SK, how come you know about my friends so much? Small word, Sandra. Besides, when the heart is willing, it has thousand ways. Well, let me go straight to the point. You see, Sandra, I like favor very much. And I would like her to be my girlfriend. If you love favor and you want her to be your girlfriend or whatever, I want to go to favor. I am not favor. Come on. Sandra, come on. We all know a girl is likely to fall for a guy if her friends approve it. It is an old saying, you know that? <laughs> you don't understand. Favor is a born again. I mean, her dad is a pastor. She, 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 she doesn't. Sandra. Inside this envelope is 3,000 Naira. Share it with Evelyn. Take favor out. Speak favorably about me. And I promise you, if everything should work out accordingly, you girls will no more pay your bills in this school. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything is 24 hours away and mommy hasn't signed the money she promised me. Maybe she forgot. You never can tell. My birthday? Impossible. Mommy can't do this to me now. Listen, girl. There is always a first time. Besides, who knows? A miracle might just happen. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, seniors. Yeah, yes, can we help you? Please, where is senior people? I am. This is for you. What was this? Who sent it? I don't know, but I'm only delivering a message. Okay. Thank you. Once again. Thank you.
Favor. Sorry if I startled you. You see, Favor, I really can't help it. The, the truth is that of recent I developed this keen interest on you. And I have been watching you closely. You see, you you special in a lot of ways. Really? Yeah. That is why a special girl like you should be treated specially. And you shouldn't be paying a cobble in this school. A down. All your bills will be taken care of. And favor. I I want you to be my girlfriend. Really? How touchy. I've been dying to meet this very generous person who always pays my bills even before I incurred it. Sends me presents and money. So it's you. Yes, it's me. I hope you like them. Thank you very much. But I no longer need your money. Look for those greedy cheap girls you can buy with money and presents. Goodbye. And repent because God loves you. <laughs> What is your problem? What is that for? Repent. Well, for Favor said I should repent. We're not too much now. Relax. She let me be escape. Hilda, I thought I let her with the people in the class. Yes, we were all coming together when your friend Favor here blasted that guy SK off. Mm. Look, Favor, the way you treated that guy was totally unfair. I mean, for a guy who has shown you nothing but care and kindness, I think it is as a better response from you. Sandra! I can't believe I'm hearing this from you. It's obvious. The guy wants something, that was why he did all he did. And I had to put him in his place. But that was rather harsh. Don't you think so? Keo, this is a sign of ungratefulness on your part. And listen to me. I think it's high time you keep all this suspicious guard down. This thing, mix with people. Meet them, oh, trust me, and you will enjoy people better. Really? Yes, really. Faithful. It will be surprising to you that I know this guy. His name is Solomon. SK for short. His parents are super rich. And he lives off dormitory at number two, Aja Street. Evelyn! That guy is really generous. Gentle and intelligent. His generosity goes to several students in his school. I never knew he was the one sending all these gifts. People like him are very brave to come back. Please tell her again. Very, very brave to come back. So you see, and the popularity he enjoys among his mates is because of his giving attitude. Really? Oh. Yes, really. So you see, girl, you don't try at all, no. you don't try. <laughs> 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 Please come in. Come in. Hi, SK. Hi. Please come in. Welcome. Thank you. Favor. Thanks. Welcome. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Sandra. What will I offer you girls? I have juice, malt, salt, anything. Oh, juice will be fine. 
I'll be right back. Okay. It's a nice piece. Really? I think so. It is. Thank you very much, Eski. So how is everything? Man, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, oh please, Eski. Where can I use myself? I'm pressed. No. Oh, okay. Just follow this door. Okay. Yeah. Go to your left. Okay. You see the toilet. All right. Excuse me. Yes. You don't know how happy I am to see you. I'm. I'm so sorry for being unnecessary harsh. And wrote to you the last time. No, it's normal. I never expected it to be easy. And you, you always look tough. And that is why I like you very much. And so, Fivo, what about, what do you say about what I told you the last time? I don't know. Remind me. Come on. My request for you to be my girl. I. I. Fivo, see. Ever since I set my eyes on you, I have not. I've not been able to, to, to think straight again. Everything about you blow my mind. Your intelligence, your grace, everything. I love you. Fivo. Yes. Close your eyes. I want you to close your eyes. Why? Come on. Just close your eyes. Fivo. Ah, please, Fivo. I don't know. She ran out. What do you mean, don't know? That was how we started dating. Until when it happened. <laughs> Fibo, yes. what is the problem? Why this worried look on your face? SK, we need to talk. Talk about what? I have not seen my period for some time now and I've been to the hospital for some treatment and the doctor confirmed that I'm, tr that I'm three months pregnant. Is this a joke or something? No, it's serious. I, I'm pregnant for you. Pregnant for who? Me? You are mad! You stuck, raving, mad! It's But, come to think of it, we did it once, and you really come to see me. So how come? Oh, you want to use someone else's pregnancy to trap me, eh? No! A favor? No! Get out of my house! Okay. I said, get out okay. before no. I beat that bastard out of you! Get out before I beat that bastard out of you! Out! Get out! Get out! Go! How can I? How can I stand in the pulpit and preach morals when my own daughter got pregnant outside outside marriage? Nani, I'm sorry. Oh, you will be sorry. You will be very, very sorry for for for, for this disgrace. You want to bring upon me, upon my ministry. Nani, please. Nani, 
Fevo. Jay. What have we done to deserve this from you? Reverend's daughter, pregnant. Fevo, you have killed us. You've killed me. You've killed me. Mommy, I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Jay. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Everything I've worked out throughout the years. About to lose. Why? What is it? Talk to me now. You're killing me. You're killing me. Talk, what is it? My child has killed me. Maybe I've killed her so. She called, denied the responsibility. Harriet, my daughter is pregnant out of wedlock. How? How? If this gets out to the public, hmm, it will ruin our reputation. It will destroy our stand. It will also affect the church severely. How would members of the church see us? How would the Christian family look at us? Pastor and his wife. Oh, change! Thank you, Lee. It's all right. It's all right. Eh? It's all right. Eh? Just take it easy. The way you are going now, you, you are heading towards nervous breakdown. How can I take it easy? Where the pregnancy is destroying everything. No. I've decided to terminate the pregnancy. No. God forbid. Temptation. Temptation. Rita. A woman of God. Sit down and allow you plunge yourself into such terrible sin. No. This is against all the things you've taught in all women conventions. That pregnancy cannot be terminated. See, children are gifts from God. They bring happiness. This one is a curse. It's still in the wound. It brings so much unhappiness and pains. I can't keep this one. It must go. God. Uh, Rita, I have a suggestion to make. Eh? Are you listening to me? Rita, listen. We can actually send her to a distant place. Yes. See, I can send her to my village home. 
take care of her there until she delivers her baby. Nobody will know. Then she can't come back. That pregnancy must not be terminated. Can you do it? Of course, yes. What are friends for? Yeah? See, uh, uh, I, will, I will take care of her until she gives birth to the child. Eh? Then we will come back. Nobody will know. And then I will take care of her. I will raise the child. Then she can go back to school. Keep the baby. Take it. I just want my daughter to be in one piece. Okay. I have to discuss this with my husband. You don't need to worry. Eh? We can always have some change. We stand together in union of spirit, soul, and purpose, and make this covenant before ourselves and before the Lord that Clifford and his wife Herietta will take care of favor until she is delivered of the baby safely and thereafter take the child and raise it as their own and we have relinquished all right of him or her to them forever we make this covenant in spirit and soul through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen Amen Favor delivered of you in the country home of Mr. and Mrs. Clifford and they took custody of you and praise to you. That is the whole story, my son. Please, my son. I am sorry for failing to assume my responsibilities on you as a mother. Please forgive me. Please. Please forgive me, Bishop. I don't mean to sound rude, but I wish to be left alone right now. I know, I know what. Get out of my office! Get out! Please, forgive me, please. I'm your true mother, please. Please forgive me, Daddy. Please beg me. Please, please. My son, you have the right to be angry. You don't have the strength. I do have what it means to be angry. You don't. Please. I beg all of you to leave my office now. No, you can't go. Look into my eyes, Phyllis. I am your mother. Get out. I can't leave, please. I can't go. This is my love. My flesh and blood. <laughs>
what is happening to me. God. This is not fair. I'm floating an ocean so deep and so wide. Can't believe this is happening. Can't, Can't believe, believe it is true. This is all I see. I cannot believe my Can't eyes. Believe and I cannot take it. Welcome, son. You are home early today. What is it? What is it? Who am I, mother? What do you mean by that? You are my son. Look me deep into my eyes and tell me who is my real mother. I didn't come here to calm down. Who is my real mother? Okay. Let's go inside. I don't want to go inside. Did you hear me? Just tell me what I need to know. Tell me. Who is my real mother? It's okay. My son, I gave you life when they wanted to take it away from you. When they felt bringing you into this world would bring disgrace and dishonor to their family. As for Rita, she felt you are a curse. And so we went into a covenant with them for us to keep you forever. So. And you think I don't have the right to know the circumstances are in my birth? Did you? I... I had always known that one day I would tell you. But I was waiting for a time when you will understand. Please. I'm 24 years old. And I'm a doctor. I know what giving life and taking is all about. And you think I would understand? God. Please, my son. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When an enemy stops you at the back, he hurts. But when he comes for someone you love most, so you love most in this world? Accuse. Accuse, mother. Yes, they wanted to kill me. You saved it. Good. But it just waited 24 years to take it back from me. With one lie. Just one lie. Stay away from me. Let go of me! Let go of me, mother. Let me tell you something. No mother will do what you have done to herself. No mother! Leave me alone, mother! Let go of me, mother. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Go away from me.
full of mysteries and doubts. I'm believing in lies, thinking everything is mine. This is all lies in I cannot believe my eyes. I and can't I cannot take it, it anymore. I can't this take is the it. highest offense. Oh, no. This is all lies in the area. I cannot believe my eyes. I cannot eyes. believe my and eyes. I cannot take it anymore. Mm-hmm. This is the highest offense. So deep and so wide Can't believe this is happening Can't, Can't believe, believe it is true This is all lies here I cannot believe my Can't eyes believe And I cannot take it anymore I can't This is take the highest it. offense oh, this, this is all lies here I cannot believe my I eyes can't believe my And I cannot eyes. take it anymore I can't take This it. is the highest oh. offense this is all lies here. I cannot believe my I eyes. Can't believe my and I cannot eyes. take it. I can can take it. Oh, Marus. I have... Why? I have, I have crisis. It's okay. I don't Just know where I'll come in. Come in. Come in. Just come in. Just come in. I've got to The situation in front of you is mercy. Really massive, and you have to think deep. Yes, nobody can advise you in this situation. It's your own decision, and yours alone. But the Bible said that wisdom is profitable to direct. <sighs> My friend. Philip, I, I know how you feel. Honestly, I do. But you don't have to bury yourself before your death. But I promise you one thing. And what is that? I'll stand by you. Baby, you have to eat. The food is getting cold. I screamed at you. 
Let me call the barrister's office. All right, I'll see you then. Hello? Is that barrister Dogo's office? Where has he gone to? Okay, let me try this private number. Didn't you get him? He's not a seat. Hello, Marie Sodogo. Yeah, this is my visit. Yeah. As regard to my stepson. No, 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 you don't have any problem. Everything is in order. In fact, I have sent some junior counsel to the field to get us materials for your case. You don't have any problem. Everything is in order. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, okay. Okay, look, Barrister, do anything that you can do. I'm traveling to Abuja this evening, but I'll be back in two days' time. Yeah, I can assure you, I can assure you, we are going to get justice instant. Of course, yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Speak to my wife. Please. Hello. Hello, Barrister. Yeah, madam. How are you? Yeah, I've already briefed your husband in respect of the matter. Everything is in order. As far as we are concerned, there's no problem. We have a case. Very good one. Barrister, please, I want my son back. Yes. I don't care if this case is going to the Supreme Court. I am ready all the way. I want to sue Mrs. Henrietta for the custody of my son. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. I want my son back. He's my son. for the custody of Philip. No. They can't do this to me. They can't do this to me. Oh. They can't take my son away from me. Oh God. Kim, you will let them do this to me. You will let them take my son away from me. Well, I have briefed the lawyer on this. He says we are working on a very thin rope. But then we must do everything possible to keep ourselves. <laughs> the most important thing for us to do now is to take our case to God. He is God of justice. I am sure he will judge this matter right. <laughs> Glory. Father Lord, King 
so good. The joy you have given to me over these years, oh Lord. I have kept it so good. Cherished it. I loved it. I didn't want to take it away from me suddenly. Lord, you are the throne. And you are seeing all this. You will not allow it to happen to me, oh Lord. Father God in heaven, the preeminence, even the judge, oh God, you have to take control over him. And you will give this lady to God. You will give him victory, Lord. You will give him victory, King of glory. You will give him victory, my Lord and my God, my King. Give me victory, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, please. The court is now in session. Appearances. May it please this honorable court. I am Isaac Odogu Esquire. I appear for the plaintiff. With due respect to this honorable court, I am Bob Nzekwesi, appearing for the defense. Very well. Could both counsel approach the bench, please? Counsel, I want to make this case quick, hitch free, and conclusive on time. I will not tolerate any of you trying to divert the attention of this court from the business of dispensing justice in order to buy unnecessary time. Are you clear? As court in court cases. Lastly, this is a very passionate case, as you can see. I will not condone any brouhaha or any kind of pandemonium in my court. So I will advise you to warn your clients to maintain law and order in my court. Or I will not hesitate to hold them in contact should they violate this court. Is that clear? Could you tell the Honorable Court the kind of agreement entered into? Before we agreed to take up the upkeep of favor, while she was still pregnant, we had a covenant with our parents, though verbal, but with strong spiritual implications in which we agreed that the child, when it is born, well, whatever the sex, will belong to us forever, as long as Tevo's pregnancy was not made known. In other words, there was no written agreement whatsoever, and the label back in attach to that written agreement, there was none. No. Speak louder to the hearing of the court. There was none. Lastly, during this spiritual covenant or whatever you call it, was my client, Mrs. Fibo there? Yes, Your Honor. No, she was not there. But you mean the poor girl carrying this pregnancy in which a spiritual ag agreement was alleged was not present at all in such a meeting? Not at all. Objection, my lord. The counsel is bantering the witness. She has answered this question simply with a no. Lord, it is important to establish that my client, Mrs. Favor Ike, was not present at all in the same meeting. And as such, any agreement reached in that meeting was not binding on her. Such agreement is null and void and of no effect whatsoever. Objection, Lord! My little friend here is badgering my client to make a slip in her testimony in order to find an opening against us. My Lord, I find it shocking 
to understand why this honorable court is entertaining a case, the key factors of which borders on the custody of a child without any written document. Objection, my lord. For God's sake, my lord, court's judgments are based on written documents, real evidence, and material facts. Objection, my lord. One of them is present in this case. For God's sake, my lord, this case is merely hanging on a spiritual covenant. Objection, my lord. It's a close case. Counselors, counselors, counselors. If you both do not sit down right now, I will hold you both in contempt of the court. Sit down. In view of the prevailing tension and other factors in the courtroom right now, I wish to call for a one hour recess. All right. Call. How are we doing, Barrister? Honorable, I'm afraid not so good. But then I'm thinking. What is it, Counsel? What is it? It's a long shot in the dark. It might hit what we're trying to protect. On the other hand, if we're lucky, it might be the light that will lead us up to victory. What do you have in mind? You just wait and see. As a man of God, you do know the importance of a spiritual covenant or agreement and its implications if broken. Objection, my lord. This question lacks relevance to this case. My lord, he is a man of God. It's important for us to know the kind of agreement he entered into with my client from his own point of view. Yes, I do. What are the implications, sir? Well, we risk the wrath of God. Bishop, you are willing to risk the wrath of God with all its devastating effects? For the simple reason that you want to retain the custody of a child, you willingly gave away to my clients. Honorable and Mrs. as the number for life, according to the agreement you entered into? Well, I am not the one suing for the custody of the child. My daughter is. And um, she wasn't part and parcel of the covenant. And I think she has the right to sue for the custody of the child. How old was your daughter when you entered into this agreement? She was around 16, 17, very about. My lord, at that age, she was still under parental guidance. And any agreement en entered into on her behalf, with or without her consent, was and still is binding on her. Objection, my lord. Counsel is battering this witness and leading this honorable court into relevant issues. Lord, I repeat, I find it difficult to understand why this honorable court should entertain a case, the key factors of which border on the custody of a child without a written document and legal backing or legal process. The Lord, I shall urge the honorable court to strike out this case for want of merit. Objection of Aru. Counsel, do you have any further question for the witness? My Lord, I have no further questions. However, I would like to point out the fact that the man in the middle of this case, Dr. Philip Ezedinamba, is not in court, and his presence is relevant to the defense. I am therefore praying, my Lord, for the court to, for the court to move an adjournment and for a summon to be sent to Dr. Philip Ezedinamba to appear in court in our next sitting. My Lord, in the absence of any further question for my clients, I will ask the Honorable Court most respectfully 
that he stands out. By the way, both cancers should approach the bench, please. I am inclined to grant the defense witness his wish to give a broader perspective to this case. As far as the court pleases. You may go back to your desk. In view of the prevailing circumstances surrounding this case, I am adjoining this case to the 15th of this month and I wish a summer to be sent to the boy in dispute. The case is adjoined. All right. God! Like somebody is at the gate. And who should I be? I don't know. Are we expecting anybody? Open it. Are you expecting anybody? Nobody, nobody, not at all. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Let's go. Welcome, madam. Madam Harrington. Why do you want to take sunshine from my life and bring darkness upon me? Just consider this. Do I truly deserve this? After I took shame and disgrace from you and brought... And Madam Hereta, Madam Hereta, please. I need my son back. Is that too much to ask for? If you had aborted that child then, where is the son you people will desperately want now? Please, favor. You are still young. You can always have another child. But as for me, Philip is the only one I have and can ever have. Please, people. I want my son, please. Son. Madam Hereta, Madam Hereta, please. I quite appreciate all you've done for Philip, okay? Honestly, I do. But but then, as you need him, so so do I need him too. I don't have any other child other than Philip. I am ready to compensate you for whatever it is you've done for him. I mean, just mention To hell with your useless bloody compensation! I want my son! I want my son, therefore! I just... I want my son! Let's go, Auntie. I want my son! Let's go, Auntie. 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 let us Ah. Let's go, Auntie. Let's go. Let's I go. want my son, Papa. Please help me. Please. Don't do this to me, please. Papa, please. Are you a Christian or a Muslim? I am a Christian. Take this and repeat after me. I swear by the Almighty God. I swear by the Almighty God that the evidence I shall give in this court that the evidence I shall give in this court shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. And nothing but the truth. So help me God. So help me God. Young man, could you tell this honorable court your names? My names are 
Tochuku. Philip is a Jinamba. And how old are you? I am 24 years old. Could you tell this honorable court your occupation? I am a doctor, though still in my internship. My lord, according to law, and since this young man has gotten up to the age of 24 years, he is free to make his own decisions and also bear the consequences for his actions. Objection, my lord. Counsel is misleading this witness and the entire court. Objection of Maru. Counsel, please. Can you make your points clear? My lord, my point is very simple. Since the young man is above 18 years of age, the court cannot decide which family he goes on with. That decision, my lord, is exclusively his to make. He is a young man and he is free to make his own choices. Thank you, my lord. Where is this man taking this case to? Well, he's my son and will always come back to me. Okay. After due consideration of both counsel's argument, I wish to call for an hour recess. All right. Sophie, what are you going to do now? <sighs> For the first time in my life, I am so afraid. I am between the devil and the deep blue sea. And in my very young life, I am asked to make a decision that will change my life forever. Yes, um, if life is to choose between good and evil, life will be very easy. Yes, because one can easily tell what's good from evil. But the true test of wisdom is to choose the lesser of the two evils. The lesser of two evils. Yes. Young man, we are waiting. my responsibilities on you as a mother. Mrs. Henrietta is the number was the first face I saw. She is the woman that gave me love. I will never forget that. This I promise you. But, blood they say is thicker than water. Mrs. Favor Ike is my mother. My biological mother. Nothing can change that. Not even me. In the face of mouthful pressures, you gave me life. That is beautiful. But your parents considered me as a shame and disgrace to your family and they gave me out 
to two most wonderful people in this world. The people who gave me life and loved. The people who loved me and gave me love in abundance. Your Honor, I am the son of Mr. and Mrs. Is it the number? And this I remain for the rest of my life. Today is a great landmark in the history of judiciary in this country. Bishop and Reverend Mrs. Indigwe, with respect to your status as servants of God, you are both the architect of your daughter's misfortune because of your desire to safeguard material possession and your reputation. Your daughter is paying a price much higher than that. And now my ruling. The boy, Philip, will henceforth be known, called and addressed as Philip. Is it the number? And let it be done. The case is closed and right. Ah! 